What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title, we have something pretty exciting for you today. So uh, for those that don't know, I had a Ford F-350 that uh, we did some uh, modifications to on the channel and things like that, that I was towing the SEMA build around with. But unfortunately it wasn't towing it very well. It was a little bit heavy for it, so it was slow going up hills and stuff like that. So I sold that a few weeks back and I've been on the look for the right truck to replace with and I finally found it. So uh, it's gonna be a really exciting build for the channel. We're gonna do a bunch of cool things to this. I've got great plans for it. But uh, yeah, without further ado, here she is. Here she is guys, 2005 LLI. It's a uh, 3500 dually. As you can tell, this thing is in straight grandpa mode right now. It's in great shape, thing is mint. It's got 240,000 kilometers on it. Uh, I've got some really fun plans for this. So first things first, these front flaps have to go because the other side is actually broken. It flaps around in the wind while I'm driving. Uh, canopy's got to go. I'm not a big fan of the canopy. It's also just kind of not in great shape. Door doesn't really hold. So canopy's going to go. We'll get rid of that. Uh, I'm thinking I can't decide if I want to lift this a little bit or lower it a little bit. I'm thinking I might lower it two inches put it on some nice Alcoas and uh, just have a nice clean look to it. Definitely gonna do taillight build and headlights as well, all color matched. And uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep the same color here. We're gonna rock this color and uh, I'm gonna do polished accents, which is, which is out of the normal for me. Definitely gonna have to get rid of the old accordion mirrors here. These things oh, are ugly as shit. So these gotta go. Might hit up my uh, my friends over at Boost Auto and see if we can get that hooked up. We go inside here. Interior is super clean. It's all cloth, which uh, I'm definitely okay with. I'm not a big fan of leather in the summer when I'm driving around and cloth is super comfy. For all you guys that chirp the SEMA build for not having a full center console like this and having the flip up instead, there you go. Hope you guys are happy now. Back seat super clean as well. This thing's just in phenomenal condition engine bay is super clean as well this thing's been really well taken care of and maintained so pretty excited about that i'm just happy to have a nice reliable truck that's going to tow the sema build fairly well obviously the bug deflector's got to go nobody actually wants that on their truck probably put some smoke cab lights up there as well as the markers on the dually bedside here the old man side steps are definitely gonna have to go look at even even the rockers are super clean so if there's some companies you guys want to see me work with or you want to see me do some certain modifications drop them in the comments let's take this thing for a spin Never thought I'd be the one to buy a dually, but damn, does that look good from the back. Whew. Thing is definitely way too quiet. New exhaust is definitely one of the first mods we gotta do. And my squeaky brakes, I don't know if you heard them there. We're gonna swing this thing home though and uh, just pull off a couple of those little pieces just to clean this up, make it look a little less grandpa-like for now. I think I, I think I need to do a little bit of washing under that thing. <laughs> That's a bit better though. I don't think those are gonna come out very nice. Well guys, unfortunately I wasn't able to get much other than the bug deflector. The other bolts look like they're gonna have to be grinded off to rust out pretty good. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're excited for the new build because I know I am. 
and uh, let me know what you want to see done to it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.